Well, the weekend has officially begun, and we welcome you to this 2K Sports presentation of NBA basketball. It's all NBC. We'll watch the Toronto Raptors in this one as they go. This up ain't even like rookie KG Nets. face. It's like I'm Boston Kevin Celtics KG Mike face. I'm on like Brooklyn Nets sideline, KG Aldridge. face. I mean, the turn off this shit. This shit looks horrible. Can't believe we used to watch TV like this. I can't. I can't look at this. Oh yeah. Let me see. Um. I don't remember to turn it off. <sighs> Good lord, man! It was hurting my eyes, bro. Well, it's no secret that they are off to a super difficult Ooh, that's a loop. start. Very rough beginning, Mike. How do you turn things around if you're coaching the team like this? I think it's about trying to keep things simple. Taking it one game at a time and trying to find ways to gradually improve. And knowing it's a long marathon. I mean, there's nothing short about the season. A lot of games to play. There's time to work these things out. And sometimes the oh, games got are Coleman. learning situations rather than practices, which are hard to come by now. So I'm at the Playboy game. Point. And so it's the Raptors getting on the board first. Tipped away. Stolen by Grant. Here's Garnett. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. You can see the shot meter. Now Stackhouse. This one for three. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. Clearly a positive sign. When Stackhouse is knocking down the three ball, the offense really opens up. Here's Grant. Score the basket. His second of two attempts. The defense I, getting I don't know the game. The there, Plus, I ain't got, got it over. on. Like and I got it on like 90%, percent, not 100. So. The shooter to find the jumper. Stackhouse up top. His last outing, he had eight points. Six to shoot. Anderson against Grant. Here's Coleman. How the hell? The time running down Bruh. the shot clock. He wasn't even looking for the damn pass, bro. That to stop Derek Coleman because he's excellent at playing through contact. And in the first, a little over a minute and a half in. Here's Grant, and the Raptors tack on two more. And here are the Nets now. It's a three-point game. Last game matched up with the Clippers. A tough loss there. Boy, they could have built a whole house from the bricks they were throwing up from deep. Yeah, the three ball wasn't there at all. It cost them in a big way. Here's Stackhouse. Just four to shoot. Anderson wide open. And again, it's New Jersey converted. Such a superb passer. Stackhouse's Queens. court awareness is also impressive. Now, here's Grant. He's coming off a 10-point game against Boston. Hey, hey. I thought his passing was absolutely fantastic. I mean, really picked apart the defense all game. playing with me, son. There's that famous KG intensity that he's known for, powering through to hit the inside. and force Might be a thumbnail, down. Jerry. If you're just tuning in, we played about two and a half minutes here in the first. You might be on the thumbnail, Jerry. Here's Stackhouse. There's the pass to Coleman. Five on the clock. Nets passing it around. Ah, oh, his big ass. And Bradley gets it to go on the assist by Anderson. And here are the Raptors now. Grant outside. Over Anderson. Grant in the post. Defended by Anderson. Grant kicks to Garnett. Tries again. Tries yet again. He takes it up and lays it in. Garnett's got six. Kevin Garnett doing a nice job. See, that's why I'll be following through on my teammates' layups. Missed shots. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in the first quarter. 
Brent against Anderson. Inside, here's Coleman. Garnett with the block. Hard to juke Garnett. He's so agile and uses his length so well. Oh! Oh! Taking no prisoners and dropping. Yeah, Buck Williams. Well, what a nice throw now by Kevin Garnett. Here's Deckhouse after the Raptors. Nah, that wasn't Buck Williams. He can't be on the court right now. Pass to Anderson. Bradley is three on Grant. Tries it from 19, and it's good. Two points. Anderson's got his second bucket of the night. Clearly, Stack, you might be off the thumbnail. In this one, looking to score whenever he can, whenever he has. It. And this team encourages him to be active on offense. You would say on I knew that shit about to happen. I'm like, why the fuck they made me go that damn far for the damn catching the ball? Stupid. Taking a look at New Jersey. Ain't nobody pressing move that damn far. Still early in the season. Of course, there's the Raptors, a game behind. I should have just immediately hit the pass, but I was too scared they was going to make the pass it's go crazy. Three. Give me them stupid ass turnover, bro. Now Stackhouse knocked away. Look at me, cherry picking. Out to the right wing. Down to five on the shot clock. Pulls up. And it's New Jersey Damn. scoring again. Big effort gets the big reward. Simply outplaying the defense. Pass to Augie. Pass the wrong damn way, bro. To the inside. Garnett kicks to Brown. Back to Garnett. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. You know, KG's a gotcha, Coleman. long play. Got gotcha, your old man. Allows him to bait defenders into contact and to finish through it. Hey guys, what do you think about what do you say to uh we've seen so far? Yo, Kim Noah. So for Did y'all see that interview? Dudley's checked in. Go we'll check that it's interview Joe out. Smith about what he said to Joe Kim Noah at the free throw line. I, don't, I think this is the first time I done shot a damn free throw since I've been playing the game. The free throw drops for Garnett. Really hard not it's been to about maybe a week since I didn't shot a free throw. Has on both ends of the floor. Look, I got 11 and 1 already. This intensity in all situations and never gives you less than 100% effort. And here they come. And it's slammed in by Garnett. And this kind of play is only going to grow their lead. Holding the other guys down on defense and converting on the turnover. Next trail by six. And first time out of the game called for New Jersey. Look at you dribble right to me. What do you want me to do? They simply have no answer for him right now. And he's making them pay dearly for it. I'm going to do one with the Supersonics, too. Oh shit, I'm tripping. I think we all is. <laughs> I'm like, why is the arrow still pointing that way? They get a hand on it. Here's Augman coming off a stellar performance against Boston. And it's slammed in by Garnett. I got some old ass legs, man. For a flush. Garnett going up with confidence and packing a punch. 131 left to play in the first quarter. Oh, he do got the uh uh the badge for his uh uh the defense play better. The team may play better defense. You the gotta get out there and cover your man, man. Shot clock at six to the left wing. To stop the run. Connects the jumper drops. Anderson's got eight. Hunter's leading by six. Uh defense anchor. Yeah, you got the defense anchor back. Here's Grant. Here's Garnett. And it's Kevin. Whoa! Who that Chris Dudley? 
is taking the chance to add a little extra spice with that throwdown. <laughs> oh, yeah, just another message to the defense that they are in control of this one. Yep. I think the message <laughs> the defense knows these guys are Go look up the video clip of Chris Dudley getting ducked on. I forgot who did it. Who did it? Was it Pippen? I think it was Pippen. Go look at the video clip. Shot high post. Again, the Nets for two. Right from the jump, Queens. these teams have been on fire offensively. It certainly made this an exciting early game. Masters just keep falling. Now, here's Grant. He's got six. Basket, good. You can get to celebrate. Two seconds left to play in the first. Anderson outside. Passes it to Smith. Here's Stackhouse. Fast break Toronto. And here we go. And it's slammed in by Garnett. They could not have asked for a better start. This is looking like a no contest already. Anderson with the ball. And Smith puts up a deep three. And that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. And a double-digit lead on the scoreboard as we end the first quarter of play. The Raptors out in front, up by 10. And the second quarter about to get started. We'll be back in just a moment. Let me let you in. We've got a wide G margin on the scoreboard, but uh, I do all expansion and for a add a bunch of G League teams. And what do you guys think We're not a bunch because a lot of them move to the same one. city. The defense has been really like active Falls. tonight early on, forcing turnovers. I put the Mexico City team on here. Too. And what a tone they've set with their defense. Exactly the way they wanted to start things off. Okay, we got about 10. Am I in the game? No, we put the new group for Toronto. Okay, we got about 8. Raptors leading by eight. Here's Henson. The ten-footer finds the target. Henson's got his first basket. A pure point guard. Randy Brown isn't looking to score. He wants to pile up assists. Now Stackhouse. Left side, Anderson. That's the goal. Over Garnett, clock at four. I mean to pass to him. Here's Henson, defended by Anderson. Oh Shoots my God, bro, what are you doing? And another basket for Toronto. So happy to be in the game, huh? Here's Stackhouse. There's the three. It's hauled in by the Raptors. At one point, they led by 16. Their last game, a win against Boston, looking to carry it into this one. Last game, they enjoyed toying with the defense, outpacing them at every turn. Well, they smelled blood in the water early on and just kept attacking. They knew they had the advantage. Nope. They get the rebound. Henson laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Henson's he ain't developed that three-point shot yet. Love the hustle there. Extending he the checked. possession, just generating offense. 151 left in the first half. To the right side. A baseline J. That one's good, and the Raptor lead has cut down to just 12 points with the basket from Anderson. More than pulling his weight offensively. I mean, he's ready and willing to step up when called upon. And they'll oh. need him to continue okay. filling it up if they want to take it. You see him over there. Found a crease, took advantage, and got it in close. Well, I got 19 and, and 4 in one half. They're having their way. Oh, and they need a basket in the worst way. I think they're forcing things right now, and it's why their offense looks so pedestrian. Here's Stackhouse, and taken away by Brown. A solo fast break. And it's Kevin Garnett with the finish. The quick hands of Brown. His teammates appreciate when he comes away with steals. Yeah. Yeah. Toronto Even back, baby. We took them uh, six losses, but we back, baby. Damn, my man, I missed that first game. I see you, Kenny. 
there's Grandison. Five to shoot and taken away by Brown. Last break. Here come the Raptors. And it's slammed in by Garnett. You know, you can feel they're starting to take control of this one. You just get the six. Yeah, we up by 18 now, baby. The that defensive nice anchor band's working. Their play on the offensive end, it's the biggest reason they're winning. Here's Stackhouse after the Raptors pick up two. Anderson right side. The pass to Coleman. Damn, and he they made the me lane. jump below him. <laughs> he didn't let me jump straight up. He let me jump across. Which is why his guys <laughs> have confidence in him down there. I don't know why I even tried to do that. We are by 18. I'm up to worry about letting Brown, Kenny ass get it down. That's good. Brown making the play. Brown's got his fifth assist. Look, I got 25 one. and four. This is Look at the rookie. How he's facilitating this offense. He's just tearing the defense apart with all of these well-timed dimes. And that's kind of play in team ass. chemistry. He's doing an outstanding job tying this offense together. Barnett with the screen for Brown and another basket for Toronto. Stopping on a dime. I don't think the defense is expecting the fast pull-up from Brown. For three, Smith. And the last shot of the buzzer doesn't go in for him. And oh, so yeah. it's the two about 19, 18. 18 point lead as the quarter comes to a close. Why are we not walking to the locker room? And, shot selection, and it's led to a terrific field goal percentage. Right back after this break. That's definitely not rookie KG. I did not even mess that up. And like I messed up uh, first half, all the other J.R. Smith. Harden. Vince Carter. He has been a walking bucket, especially down on the block. He's that's that's Brooklyn Nets, Kevin Garnett. Like face, the bro. offense has found them as often as they have. They know he is money inside right now. I know what I'm going to have to do. Since we're not getting on TV games, I'm going to just have to play uh, the the every team at least once. Goals for these teams. Get our one record side, back right. To comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. Here's Stackhouse. Passes to Bradley. Solid play Damn. on the low block, and that one's good. Bradley's got his team on the board first here in the second half of the Nets. I think I just pulled a ligament off and trying to press the button to block that. Anderson against Grant. Brown feeling out of it. Stacy, why are you trying to back him down? When by Stackhouse. A nice shot by Ah, you and LV. It's on display. Respect. And I'm sure that was something they talked about during the break. Getting him some good looks in the paint right away. And here are the Nets after the Raptors pick up two. Deep two from Anderson. And it's New Jersey scoring again. He has been in some kind of groove here lately, really cooking on the offensive end. Yep. This I picked all people with, like, great perimeter defense. Game. Lots of confidence. Now, here's Grant. He's got ten, and the shot is good. That's trail by 18. I'm just going to keep giving Kevin Garnett that animation, huh? Now Stackhouse. Pass to Coleman. Now here's Anderson. Inside. Ah. Uh, okay. Okay, PJ. Okay, PJ. You got to love strong defense, especially when it comes in the form of harsh Dumb, Don't bring it up here all week and Those shit. Those kinds of plays are the ones that get you on the lead and help keep you in front. That's my guy. One of my top five favorite Charlotte Hornets. Got him. Well, Hornets, I'll just say Hornets, period. My number one is, is, is definitely David West. First minute and a half of basketball here in the third quarter. Anderson can't get it to go. Raptors leading by eight. My bad. My bad. My bad. Pass to Garnett. Brown inside. To the wing right side. Rocket six. 
Here's Ogman, guarded by Brad. That one falls. Ogman's got his uh, Pete, I mean, David West, Kendall Gill, even better here in the second. We are just continuing Larry Johnson. On that end and focusing on making good shot selections. Zo when he was there. And Grant sends it back. Goes up. And Garnett slams it home. Nice work, and they are getting it done at both ends. And building on this lead. They played a pretty complete game. But that's a gone two or five. Keep shot. getting that animation, huh? Feeds to Bradley. And taken away by Brown. Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes gone. Get there, get there. Toronto working the ball around now. Six on the shot clock. Here's Grant. The shot. Oh! That's a quality shot right there. It just didn't fall for him. Hey, they don't all end in scores. Great execution, and they're happy that they had that kind of. Well, if I hit that one, you know it would have been over. They would have just called the rest of the game off. They would just like, forget it. Here's Stackhouse. And the wide open shot for Morris. Good on the three point shot. Morris has got seven. I don't think the defense saw him as a threat, but he takes full advantage of that with a nice long range shot. So timeout called here, the first for the Raptors. He's been knocking down free throws tonight, going eight for nine. Well, he's earned his share of points at the line tonight, not wasting any chances. No cheese left at the line for him. He really has been dialed in. Damn, why they got Joe, like, balding? Not with a ball head, but balding. 12 seconds left to play in the third. Down low. Here's Garnett. And he uses the glass on the way. Garnett's got I need more rebounds, bro. Garnett, very comfortable close to the basket now. He's efficient as a low block score. <laughs> Jerk. <laughs> That's Kevin Garnett, though. That's why I love him. Jerk. They're ahead. 16 points. Their strategy has been clear tonight. Work the ball inside. Get shots in the paint. And now they are scoring with ease. We've got more in store for you. So right we can check this. New Jersey off the list. And there have been two very different Holden. performances from these teams today. As we get going in quarter number four. And there's the pass to Polonese. Here's Augman. Covered by Augman just... <laughs> Augman nice <laughs> just go back everybody down. He simply laid it in. Nets trail by 18. Morris looking over the floor. Six to shoot. Here's Smith. Drills the baseline jumper. Excellent vision on display. Dropping a dime to set up his teammate. Passes it to Roy. Collard covered by Morris. Damn. Fourth quarter just getting started. One minute in the books. Stackhouse pass to Coleman. There's the pick. Morris passes to Coleman. The shot's mm. good on the assist by Morris. He's been very consistent. I thought he was going to pass out to the perimeter. Attempts. His team needs a higher volume from him right now. Why would you spin back this way, bro? By Stackhouse. Pass to Garnett. Slammed in by Garnett. Oh, I tell you what, the big guy knows how to do that. Throw it down. A little over a minute and I a need half. to put that as a poster. I got me well going to use. Uh, what was the play early? What was that still outside. first quarter? The pass to Stackhouse. The three. Toronto grabs the miss. Garnett's got rebound number five here tonight. To the middle. And 
There you go, Alden. I can't believe the Clippers gave him up. Love to see David take it to the line. Huge throw down. And so it's Morris with it. Still up by 18. They trail by 18. Pass to Smith. Wait, who the hell is this big motherfucker that's running the point? Shot clock at six. From 18 feet away, Morris, no good. The Raptors have gone three or four in field goal attempts since getting things started here in the fourth. And the Raptors call time here. I see we got all them players on the sideline waiting to check in. But that might need to be a rotation. I, who the hell is 34? I'll find out after the game. And now we'll take a moment for our presentation. Morris, our Morris, the Morris. Game. Who the hell is Kevin Morris? Garnett. Well, he completely took over, I think, on both ends of the floor. Scoring with authority and influencing a lot that of wasn't plays, almost even every me. play. This was the kind of night you dream about as a player. The lift he got from this home crowd has been obvious. There's nothing fans love more Morris. than... Morris. I don't know who the hell that is. Out of ...someone other than one of their stars. It's not even... I need to eat. Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. Lynch passes to Auden. The screen from Brown. To the paint. Oh, shoot. To the middle. And Garnett gets it to go on the assist by Brown. Garnett's got four this quarter. It's obvious he's looking to continue to attack on offense so this lead can expand. And if you were hitting like he is in this one, you would be too. His efficiency has done a lot for them. Now, here's Anderson. Pocket six. Pass to Coleman. Back to Anderson. The shot is good off the backboard. Anderson's got 10 points in just the second half. Toronto leading by 18. And here is Grant. Oh, uh, Grant, what you doing? Screen on Anderson. Grant, that's good. Put the defender in the spin cycle. That's an underused move in his arsenal. Trying to find a way out of this run, Mike. Yeah, looking to regain some momentum offensively. Anderson with the ball. Now defended by Grant. From deep three-point range. Doesn't go for him. And Toronto will come the other way. Toronto calls time you ain't gonna go take the basket. Discuss things here. You can't lose the timeouts anyway. And keeping everyone on the same page requires that communication. I'm gonna wait until we get under three minutes, and then I'm gonna sub us out. Thirty-three and five, at least. Why is PJ? Brown against Anderson. Brown versus the Grant. Four on the clock. Here's Garnett. And Stackhouse Damn pulls it. it down. Nets trail by 20. He's going to pass me the ball at the last when I ain't got really a chance to shoot the damn ball. That's it. Out to the wing. Now the feed to Bradley. From down in the low post, it goes. Raptors leading by 18. Garnett with a screen on Anderson. Right. Anderson against Grant. Mm. Dunk to finish it off. That Lynch. Beauty. Yep. He added some style to that one. I think he should get some bonus points for that. Oh yeah, he was definitely making a show of it. When you get the there chance, ain't no Kerry Kittles out there. That, you have to take it. Here is Anderson after the Raptors pick up two, and he commits the intentional foul. Glad they foul there. Let it go. Time Joe Clark. Why am I back in the game, bro? Off 
Off the inbound. And the layup is up and in. Terrific work off the inbound pass. Catching the defense off guard and going right up with the shot. Grant up top. Covered by Smith. And they will get the basket here, folks, as they rule goaltending. Kudos for the effort, but he got there a little too late. New Jersey making a switch here. Jerry Stackhouse. Kenny Anderson. <laughs> I was up on the day from score table. Nets trail by 20. Here's Stackhouse. to the wing. Shot clock at six. Grant inside leaner. It falls for his fifth field goal tonight. Now shooting five for eight. The coaches love seeing shots from there at the rim. And so Grant will bring it up for Toronto. With the drive. And another basket to his impressive total. It's his ninth against 12 attempts. Just look at the score differential in this one. I mean, a truly commanding and dominant performance here for the Raptors. Clark, it seemed like they did everything well tonight. Yeah, you could point to a lot of things, Kevin. You could talk game plan. You could talk execution. But they were just the more talented team. I don't know why. That's what the deal I should have learned by now that he's not going to keep up with the pick and roll. Stage contest important here tonight. Tonight's win will give them four on the season. And, you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for Kevin Garnett. Well, I love the force that he showed. Oh, the come on. Using all of his length to deny shots. He was their anchor tonight. And an intentional foul right there. You know, I just can't get my head around this decision at this point. I mean, you've got to keep the clock going right now. Not sure what he was thinking there. I'm sure this will be something Coach will highlight during the next film session. trying to sell about there's 53 seconds left in the fourth quarter and Stackhouse kicks to Anderson six to shoot over Grant again the Nets for two they're really making a go of it but perhaps too little too late but you respect them for playing out the string Toronto calls timeout they're ahead by 16 Take me out of the game if I get in. seconds <laughs> left in the fourth quarter. Royal, another day. And so Toronto takes this one, but by a big margin. Well, Clark, they put on a show for this home crowd, playing with a lot of precision and just having their way out there at the end. Yeah, this place was buzzing on fire. The energy was overwhelming. Fun to watch, but not so much fun for their opponents. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For our terrific reporter, David Aldridge, along with Clark Kellogg and Mike Fratello, I'm Kevin Harlan saying thank you for tuning in tonight. So long, everyone. Old face. All right, I'm gonna make a watch of replays because already we just saw all of them. All right, I didn't realize I had three blocks. Damn. PJ, come on, baby. Damn, stack. But, see, that's what I was saying. I picked all guys that could play defense. That was, that was when I did the expansion draft. That's what I looked for. I looked for players who had, if you were in, if you were power forward or center, I looked for, you had inside defense and high rebounding, B plus or higher. Most of the guys are A, A minus. And if you were small forward, play the two or the one, then I looked for perimeter defense and high and high IQ for everybody too. That's how I did my expansion draft. So um I wanna say it was in the first quarter. I ain't 
that one. Ain't that one. I don't think Sean Bradley really gonna be in this shot. Blending, damn it. It's going to be the thumbnail. Look at Stack over there. All right, man, hit the sub button, hit the like button. Stay smart, stay safe. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate you. We do this for fun. Got more videos coming to you. I'm going to get back on wrestling, too, y'all. If y'all, for those who might be looking for wrestling, it's just uh, I got burned out. WrestleMania, all the other pay-per-views. Hell, I'm about to watch a wrestling pay-per-view right now. <laughs> I, just got, I just got burned out, man. CM Punk is coming back, you know, it's just, it just too much wrestling for me for like a couple of weeks, man. I'm like, man, I need a break from wrestling. So uh, I came back over because I want to see who the hell Morris is. Chris Morris. The offense saying he played a fucking point guard? So, yeah. All right, y'all. We hit 100 on him. <laughs>